Hello, hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Agrarian Skies! Um, I know in this episode I said I was going to work on magic stuff, aka button magic and thumbcraft, and yeah, that's not gonna happen. Uh, what I will want to do, however, is if you notice over there, that's where I built the, uh, uh, the arrow pointing, by the way, on the map there. Uh, you will notice I built a platform up there, that is where the thumbcraft building will be. To the other side will be the Blood Magic building. Uh, I have yet to build the Blood Magic building. Uh, I'm still coming up with a design. Uh, with the lack of chisel and a few other <clears throat> mods uh, that I usually build with. Uh, since I've been playing Attack of the B team. Um, blocks are kind of hard to come by. For inspirational colored choices. However, down below, uh, where I originally have the tree farm and... Uh, wheat and potato farm you should see four additional farms uh, one of them is a cactus farm so the one that was over that way has been removed uh, even though the checkerboard pattern is still there I haven't picked that up on the other side of the cactus is the reed farm and actually let's just uh, head on up there and take a look really wish it didn't rain Alrighty, yeah. Cactus, sugarcane, or reeds, as I used to know them. Uh, over here we have tomatoes, and over here we have soybeans. Um, I've been... I, I chose to use better barrels, and uh, storage buses under here. This will allow me to store the uh, items in this barrel without having to worry about uh, them taking up my drives. And in order to do this, I right click on the storage, Went to the uh, quartz wrench. What? Uh, what is that called exa exactly? <laughs> yeah, quartz wrench. Yeah, that was right. And then I just hit the plus 64 to the storage priority, so um, everything would actually end up going to my barrel instead of my drives uh, by default. Because right now my, I think my drives are one higher than default. I think it, I set it at two. Uh, I need birch. I'm gonna drop the block. Um, so yeah, I got tomatoes and soybeans over there. Uh, with that, we are going to create some new food items and perhaps set up a few new bases. Uh, bases. A few new farms for them as well, depending on what I find to make. Um, I also redid this slightly. Uh, I cleaned it up just a tad. I tried putting, uh, pipes under here, under the dirt, and microblocking the dirt. Uh, however, saplings do not work on them, even though they're on the upper half. I can actually demonstrate this. Assuming I didn't drop, you know, blocks, of course. Um, what's screw you, dirt. Let me get more. <clears throat> Come on. Um, what I did try was the smallest of them which was the dirt covers. So let me go ahead and put this here. As you notice, I'm putting it on the top. It is now even with the block. And I go to place a sapling on it, it, it cannot. Um, I don't know if the next tier up, the panels work. I didn't try that, but nope, still doesn't work. Uh, my next thought was maybe the slab version works, but no. So it looks like you do need a full block for uh, for saplings to be planted on. It's a bit unfortunate, but hey, whatever, it works. Uh, the reason this part of the farm is empty, by the way, is because I've been planting amaranth saplings, or try to, through the planter. Uh, the planter doesn't actually plant them, so I actually have to do it by hand. Uh, also, I don't know if this issue is in Attack of the Bee Team. But since these are from Natura, yeah, I can uh, place them on each other. Kind of oddly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not intended. But for whatever reason, this version of Natura allows it. Um, I'm sure they got fixed at some point. But yeah, I've been having to manually plant these. I just marked it on the planter to uh, assign these to a uh, amaranth. Just that way, oh and anything else I may want to be planting at the moment doesn't get put in there. 
Um, oh, also change of the power lines here just a bit. Uh, I've been using tesseracts here, and I believe I have one under here somewhere else. Uh, yes, right here. Uh, also, you may have noticed this ME wireless access terminal I used to get the dirt. Uh, made this. It's going to allow me easier access to uh, my EE system without having to go th over there all the time. Uh, however, the wireless access point has a range limitation, so over here I just created another one and put it on since I had to run cable over here anyway for the uh, barrels. Uh, and the planter, of course. Uh, haven't done anything with the squid farm. Uh, haven't really needed ink sacks too much lately. Um, let's see, what else have I done? Uh, I also went to the nether. Got a bunch more redstone ore. Uh, speaking of, is that 16M done yet? No? Is it still crafting? Doesn't look like it. Uh, let's see how far along this is. Uh, it's crafting kilo storage, needs glass, um, and now it's crafting the basic processors for the storage segments. Okay. Um, it's slowly getting there. I've been kind of working at it here and there. Uh, the punch trees get blisters, which is the deliver 100,000 oak wood. Is 17%, so we got 17,000 pieces of oak in there. Um, I've just been turning it on and off as needed, uh, depending on when I need wood. Uh, like right now, I don't need 5k wood, so let's go ahead and drop some of that in there. Okay, thanks. Uh, chat, I didn't realize right clicking on these gave you what the uh, quest that it's bound to. So now the quest is at 20%, and we've went down to 2k wood, so I'll turn this off just so I have some extra wood to spare. Alright, um, I believe that's all the things I've done thus far outside of the automation down here. Uh, automated dirt uh, process here, uh, this is using rotten flesh primarily, except for this one uh, over here is using spider eyes. Uh, automated uh, soul sand and clay as well using these two setups. Uh, the ME interface can actually output directly into the barrel without an issue. Uh, got the sludge boilers. Um, also set up a infinite lava, if you will, system. Uh, this will keep 10 buckets of lava in the uh, system at all times, and this will keep some ice in the system at all times. Uh, right now I have 640 ice in the system maximum before it gets turned off. Uh, which apparently I've already hit that limit. Uh, over here is the same as the lava, except for it does water instead using an aqueous accumulator, and again, I keep 10 buckets in there at all times. Um, oh, there is one other thing over here for automation, and this is Thaumcraft related. I used a ME dark cable, which is essentially a cable that can turn on and off a section via redstone signal. Um, this places uh, blocks uh, such as netherrack, ice, sandstone slabs doubled on each other, TNT, and uh, this one will be setting it up for uh, obsidian. Those are necessary for the shards, uh, which I've been somewhat collecting. Uh, those are actually necessary for our next quest in Thumbcraft as well. But enough of the updates. Uh, let's look into the hunger uh, hunger overhaul mod along with uh, the, uh, the Pam's Harvest Craft, something like that. Uh, I'm getting tired of this toast, but, you know, it's toast. It's got to be used for something. Um, let's see, this can be used for grilled cheese, uh, stuffed mush mushroom, uh, cheese toast and mushrooms, okay. It's a nourishing meal. That's a hearty meal. Uh, this is also a nourishing meal. What is this? Stuffed mushroom? Is that the same as this? Yes, it is. Uh, hamburger, which requires toast, a skillet, and some form of meat or tofu. Uh huh. That's a nourishing meal. BLT. That is a nourishing large meal. Uh, that means I would have to set up a lettuce farm. Um, I don't think that would be a problem really. A hearty breakfast, that's a nourishing feast. That doesn't seem too complicated. What are potato cakes? Onions, butter, and potatoes. Uh, what? 
Craft toast into toast. Okay. <laughs> uh, French toast. Uh, that requires ground cinnamon, which is from cocoa beans and sugar from sugar cane, and then eggs or... What was the other option? Tofu? Okay. Uh, zucchini bake. This is a nourishing large meal. I don't know what these uh, definitions mean, like nourishing meal or meal. Um, I'm assuming nourishing or some variant of indicates the saturation you get from it. And the term meal and feast indicate how much actual like meat pops or chicken pops, whatever you want to call them, get replenished. Uh, that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking anyway. Uh, it could be wrong. Uh, I think the best bet uh, for now would be this hamburger using firm tofu. Uh, I believe you get a firm tofu from the presser. So let's take a look at this. Uh, requires two pistons and six iron ingots. Uh, apparently I do not have that. So let's go ahead and craft a few of those up and get a few more pieces of iron. And by a few, I mean just, you know, a bunch. Because I have over 600 blocks of iron. <laughs> May as well just convert a bunch of it into ingots. Alrighty, we got our presser. Um, what is this? I don't understand this interface. Um, we need soybeans, because as far as I know, soybeans is what turns into tofu. Does I go there? Nope, oh, it's doing something. We got soy milk and silken tofu. Uh, what do I do with this tofu then? Do I compress that as well? I pressed that and got firm tofu. Okay. Uh, can I do anything with the soy milk? Uh, not with the presser, it looks like. Can I do anything here? Uh, I can get heavy cream, which is something I believe I need for a quest. Uh, da -da -da, let me look. Quest, quest, quest book. There it is. Hell's Kitchen. Um, spice it up. I apparently got the fresh water. I still don't remember doing that. Oh, I need salt. Uh, and yeah, heavy cream. also need butter. Um, I ended up getting a few pieces of salt. I'm not entirely sure how. Ew. That's interesting. Uh, manual detect. Oh, I got... Wait, what? I got fresh milk. I haven't milked a cow on this map. How? Okay. Uh, heavy cream can be done. Let's go ahead and make one of those, and we can do a manual detect on that. Oh, I already detected it, and we need butter and cheese for this particular quest. Um, I'm not sure if we actually have the ingredients for butter and cheese. Uh, as I'm, last I knew, they were made from milk-based products. Uh, oh, looks like I can make it, but I don't have the saucepan. Wait. Make that anyway. Um, butter. Butter require. Oh, butter does require the saucepan. Okay. Now we got the butter. Okay, that's been detected, and now we need cheese. I put a recipe in there for cheese a while back, but uh, I don't remember which recipe I gave it. Okay, now I have cheese, and we can claim this reward. Cool. Uh, what did that unlock? Smooth ice. Uh, we need a glacial precipitator, which I already made off camera for the ice production. Uh, apparently, we needed this as well. Toasty. Made toast as well. Um, made tomatoes as well. Don't have lettuce. Don't have fish sandwiches. Burger, flipper, hamburger. Don't have salad dressing. Don't have tasty pasta. Don't have brunch. Don't have. Uh, I imagine that unlocked quite a few for the hoarding quests. Uh, yeah, actually, it did. It did unlock some of those. We do need 10,000 pieces of toast, which uh, maybe we should set up a quest delivery system for that as well. If I can spell quest, 
Anytime soon. Thank you. Quest delivery system requires glass and that. Quest tracking system. Quest gate system. I don't know what those do. Uh, we do need some glass, however, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, this episode's really going to be about food. So, I wonder if there's a way to automate this, uh, the presser. Like, if I was to put this here, for example, um, do an export of, let's do a basic export, and import, we just need a basic import. So if I was to do export there, import here, this will take in items from this, this will take out items. Um, if I tell it to take in soybeans, does it do it? Yeah, it does, however, this uh, basic import doesn't know that it shouldn't take that. So that means I'm going to need a precision one. Precision export, no. Precision import, which I apparently don't have any of. Uh, how's that 16M doing? It's working on the ME advanced processor at the moment. Okay. Uh, must be cooking up the assembler assembly piece right now for that. Um, cheese. Oh, it requires milk. Okay, that's why I didn't find it. Uh, precision import. Uh, this will want to import. It's unfortunate you can't shift click from that. Import only soy milk and silken tofu. So that should get imported into the AE system, I think. Hmm. That doesn't work. Why is that, I wonder? Hmm. Is it importing? Is it? Do I have to do it from the bottom? Let's see, I'm importing from the system. Let's see, do I have to do it from the bottom? It does look like I have to do it from the bottom. Alright, that's good to know. Yeah, that, that'll just keep producing... Uh, Soy milk and silken tofu until end of days. Let's go ahead and take that out and put in silken tofu. And let's uh, take those out as well. Uh, while we're waiting for some of that to actually turn into firm tofu, let me uh, put some of the stuff away here. And we can open this reward bag. Oh, actually, I do want this heart. Uh, we could actually probably do a lot of these hearts into pieces. I, I, I'm getting so many hearts lately, and I haven't died at all. If you notice, my death count hasn't changed for multiple episodes on end. So, yeah. Ooh. This is actually very helpful. An enchantment table is something I had set up on making at one point, because I wanted to get magical wood uh, for the Thaumcraft thing. Uh, the Thelmcraft thing that I want to get magical wood for is this filing cabinet. Uh, this filing cabinet... Let me explain the filing cabinets. Because I might actually end up using these for food as well. Uh, they're very useful. Um, Alright, these shards here... Let me just grab a few of those. Alright. This is the basic filing cabinet, and it can accept up to 490 items. Um, it can be different items, however, they have to share the same base ID. Uh, that includes that uh, colon one that you see here. If 
you look at these other ones, they don't ha they have different colon numbers or metadata values or damage values depending on what you've heard them as for uh, meta damage um, meta value or damage value metadata. <laughs> there we go. I confused myself. <laughs> so yeah, I can only store in one type of shard. However, these filing cabinets, the advanced ones, which apparently you can't shift it, click into, should be able to allow that. Why aren't you allowing this? Why aren't you accepting them at all? Why is that? Hmm. It's not accepting those at all. Why is this filing cabinet? Uh, the thing about the advanced is it's supposed to be able to take in multiple item types uh, and can hold up to 700 and something. Let me look at what an extra utility says. Filing cabinet provides a convenient storage container for items that do not stack. The advanced filing cabinet holds 540 items and accept items regardless of type. The filing cabinet will keep the items alphabetically sorted within the interface for handling retrieval. What, and what does the basic one say? Well, it's 270 items, however the items must be all of the same type, i.e. same item ID, but can have different properties, damage values, and blah, blah, blah. So, why are, from what I understand then, th this should accept everything? Except the Tesseract, and accepted that, but it's not accepting the Thumbcraft items. Why is this? That's weird. Um, I'll have to look at that in, into that off camera. For the time being, that stuff is just going to go back in my storage. Alright, back to the hunger overhaul. Um, let's see, we got the chili, cherry jelly sandwich. So, what did we decide to do with this toast? Uh, since we do need to make a 10,000 of it anyway for uh, the quest. I don't think we really decided on anything. Oh, I wanted to make the, uh, was it the hamburgers? Might have been the hamburgers. Uh, I don't remember what it was I decided on. Yeah, it was the hamburgers, because I was going to use the firm tofu for it. Um, apparently I did have some raw beef though, probably from the animals I killed, and firm tofu. I really have no nothing in there. Uh, why aren't you taking that out? Oh, you weren't told to take it out. Okay. So let me go ahead and do that. <laughs> Put that in there. Alrighty. Should be able to make, uh, these now. Oh, uh, if you notice that sound might have been a little bit low, it's because I have a sound muffler over there. Uh, constant blocks breaking over there was annoying. Alright, so we have hamburgers now um, as a food source. I'm going to see if I have if I can find a way to automate this completely. Uh, I probably can use an uh, a, uh, ME interface on top of this like I did with uh, the barrels down below. That way when it's uh, on demand, it can just constantly export uh, specific items since uh, apparently all of these count. Now if I was to tell it to... If I was to tell this right now to give it soybeans, would that get pulled out? No, because it's on the bottom. That is very interesting. But then those items should get pulled out, right? Yeah, they get pulled out, but the soybeans do not. Hmm. That is very interesting. Well, guys, I think this is going to call it for this episode. Uh, I want to say next episode we'll do the blood magic and thumbcraft stuff, but don't quote me on that. I'm kind of interested in this food stuff right now. I'm getting tired of eating toast all the time. It's so toasty, if you will. And how are we doing on wheat? We got plenty of wheat. 
So I'm probably going to set up the uh, quest system for the toast off camera. Um, hopefully our 9x9 farm will get that done pretty quickly. I uh, also need to work on this. And you may have gotten a glimpse of the building over there. That's fine. It's not like I'm trying to keep the building a secret. Uh, you won't be able to see the inside though. I'm okay with that. And I gotta finish off this wheat. Uh, wheat. Uh, sugar cane. Uh, I've noticed I've been needing a lot of paper lately, so. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Uh, I'm gonna stop rambling at this point and let you guys go. Have a good day, and see you guys next time.